more citizens speak out. Inspired by the peaceful Jasmine Revolution in Tunisia, where unarmed protesters calling for improvements in rights and governance gave way to social and political reforms, people across the world continue to gather, braving the threats to their own safety, to demand greater respect, human rights, democracy and better livelihoods. As demonstrations were held in Saudi Arabia, Croatia, Bahrain, Bulgaria, Mauritania, USA, Germany, Formosa or Taiwan, Lebanon, Libya and Yemen, new protests also sprang up in countries such as Turkey, where thousands of journalists along with activists, intellectuals and members of minority parties marched in Ankara to protest the arrest of the nation's journalists, carrying posters of slain and jailed media members as they called for improved freedoms and the release of those detained. Also in Turkey, Russia Today reported that around 10,000 citizens protested the compromise to quality of the government's healthcare system, which now includes a stipulation that doctors are paid based on the number of patients they see. In Lebanon, tens of thousands marched in rallies attended by Christian, Sunni Muslim and Druze community members who called for the Hezbollah group to disarm, citing concerns the group is using its large weaponry arsenal to secure political gains. Meanwhile, Lebanon's Daily Star News reported that activists calling for an end to the government's religion-based government staged a 24-hour peaceful gathering in Beirut and several other cities. In China, news agency Emirates 24-7 reported on tight security maintained by police in Beijing and Shanghai to stop protesters from demonstrating as businessman Guo Weidong became the 100th person reportedly detained after he posted calls for protests on the internet. Reporting on Morocco, France 24 stated that dozens of protesters were injured when the police stormed a building where they had sought refuge, with one witness reporting on violence against several women. Around 100,000 people were joined by legislators in Wisconsin, USA, as they called for state governor Scott Walker to be removed from office after he passed a law that takes away state workers' collective bargaining rights. In Germany, following Japan's tragic earthquake and its highlighting of nuclear energy dangers, Prince Alatina reported that around 60,000 people protested by forming a human chain from Stuttgart to the Neckarwestheim nuclear plant, with Chancellor Angela Merkel pledging in response to have the reactors inspected. Meanwhile, hundreds of Philippine laborers and migrant workers living in Formosa or Taiwan protest the government's freeze on hiring Philippine workers after 14 Formosans or Taiwanese were deported from the Philippines, and the Formosan government later announced that it would ease a measure that technically barred Philippine workers from entering Taiwan. In addition, the Philippine government announced the replacement of its immigration chief, promising to work out any differences with Formosa. Violence escalated in Yemen from Sunday into Monday, March 14th, with reports that government supporters armed with clubs and knives attacked the unarmed pro-democracy protesters while police fired live bullets and tear gas, resulting in three deaths on Sunday. The UN, United Kingdom, European Union and the US all spoke out against the escalation of violence and the excessive use of force, while Press TV reported that 20 parliamentarians and 45 members of the ruling General People's Congress Party resigned in protest of the government's actions and have joined the demonstrators. Following some of the worst violence to occur in Bahrain, when police on Sunday fired rubber bullets and tear gas at thousands of pro-democracy protesters, the US government and Iranian Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Solehi urged the nation's leaders to exercise restraint and avoid such an approach. Iran's foreign ministry also spoke out against the Bahraini government's decision to bring in police and troops from the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia sent in response to Bahrain's request for help in dealing with protesters following their refusal to negotiate until the nation's cabinet ministers had stepped down. On a hopeful note, Al Jazeera reports that minority political groups meeting with Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to discuss how to achieve Chief National Dialogue received his assurance that doing so would be effective in addressing their key demands for government reforms. In Libya, citizens report that forces loyal to Colonel Muammar Gaddafi have been engaged in conflict with an army group that refused to fire on fellow citizens in the city of Misrata, even as government forces were successful in taking over the city of Brega. 
Meanwhile, Xinhua News Agency reports that thousands of people are still stranded at the Tripoli airport trying to leave Libya, including thousands of migrants, mostly from African countries, who have been taking refuge in transit tents along the roadside and waiting for as long as two weeks. It saddens us deeply to know of the lives lost as we wish for all tensions to ease and peace to reign in equality, dignity and freedom shared among the citizens of all countries. Thank you.